Hey everybody, this is Wilbur Guy here today, and today I'm going to do a video that um, is very useful, especially if you're a beginner, but how to set up your Marine Corps pack uh, transport style. So that's with the combat suspenders going at an X like this. Um, it's actually very simple once you understand how to do it. It's just knowing how to do it is a bit complicated, but it's, it's pretty simple, so don't stress about it. So I'm going to show you how to do it, and you'll realize how easy it is. So let's hop right to it. All right, so when you have your pack and your suspenders, how are you gonna attach it? Well, it seems tricky at first, but once you get the hang of it, once you do it once or twice, you realize it's actually pretty simple. So you wanna first start out, get your suspender. I'm only gonna do one for the video because the other one's the exact same idea. Get your suspender and you want the hooks right here that are gonna attach to the cartridge belt, you want them facing up. And then you want it pointing to the right because I'm working on the left side of the pack. So whatever side you're working on, this strap is gonna point the opposite end. And then you want it, of course, with the buckle facing up. So go ahead and set it down like that. Then, this is the uh, first pattern of the haversack. So your attachments, whatever, are gonna be just a regular buckle and D-ring, while the later variants had the, I think, M buckle, where it has like three slips to strap your strap through. So what you want to do is just have it all extended and let me bring that closer. You want the strap to go through the buckle and through the D-ring once and then wrap it around and have it go under the strap into the buckle again and then you just adjust it from there for your, um, gir or for your size and everything. So once you have that set up, just set it up now, you'll worry about the adjustment later. Go ahead and get it like that and just set it down flat or actually don't set it down flat, strip it through your o-ring from the combat suspender like so all right so we still have it in our same setup and then you have this strap on the shoulder go ahead and threat or strap that through there it's a bit tight so just work with it all right so pass it through there and now you just attach on the other end so if the other side's already done, go ahead and just clip it. You want it to go crisscross. Oops. You want it to go crisscross on the back of the pack. So the left side meets with the right side. Now, you just take this and you want the buckle facing you and you just slip it through the strap at the bottom of the pack. There we go, just run it through all the way and just swing it to the front and attach it with the other side and that's it it's that simple after that you just go ahead and adjust it to your height to your uh, size and everything like that and you'll be good to go now if you want to do with the transport pack on it it's going to be the same idea this strap is going to go through here and then all you have to do is adjust your combat suspenders so extend them so that they can reach the bottom of the pack here that's all there is to it so as you can see it's pretty simple so with that being said that is how you set up your pack transport style the way by the book now of course a lot of marines um, especially after a few days in combat or on the field uh, they realize that they can just attach the shoulder straps to the bottom here without using the suspenders and They can use the combat suspenders with their cartridge belt without needing the pack attachment So this is really just for a transport style at this point or for fresh marine being deployed So I hope this guys or I hope this video helped you guys if it did drop a like write a comment share the video to help your fellow marine reenactors out there but besides that, you guys have a great day.